All right, to see which version of firmware you have, you're gonna to go to menu, set view, config, scroll down to where you see firmware. And here we have version one, revision three point or 7.3, and it should be, in this case, we're going to make it 7.4. So that's how you check it. This video is going to show you how to update a firmware version for the smart monitor. And what we want to do is first connect to the unit. So in this case, I need to get my cable, which, and this one is an Ethernet connection. So I'm going to go ahead and plug into the unit. Go to settings, go there, and hit EAOK. And if you see, it says it connected to the port. A couple of things you can see is it actually illuminates here. You can click here, it tells you the firmware. In this case, we want to go from 7.3 to 7.4. So, go to help, firmware. Here it's telling you that it's going to do this. What I always recommend is make sure you got solid power. Uh, you must remove the program card. So in this case, I'm removing the program card now, and I'm going to say OK. Now it's going to ask you where it is. So you have to point to it on your hard drive. So what I would like to do is always like to put the file in a known directory. In this case, I have put it in temp under Bob. And here's my firmware right here. So it's good to know where it's at. I'm going to click, say open. And you're going to start seeing it on the software. You're going to see that it's going to be reading it. You got completion. When it's done, it'll let you know. I'm also going to show you a video of what the controller should be or the monitor should be doing. So a couple of things when you are doing the firmware update, this is what the monitor is going to look like. It's telling you don't interrupt, interrupt it. It's everything's going on good. The other thing I want to point out is down here where you see the LED, this is showing the data going across the communication. So you should see a flashing light like that. And what's happening is there's a communication LED that should be flashing off and on, showing data being processed. Instead of you sitting here watching a video, watching these numbers go high, I'm going to go ahead and put a hold on it. And then when it gets back to where it's getting closer to 90%, I'll come back. Okay, we're two minutes in and we're at 83%. As I said, it takes about three to five minutes for this to get done. Um, you can see the countdown here. If I cannot stress enough, do not disconnect, do not lose power, and don't mess with the controller or monitor until the software tells you to. And it will tell you to reset. So here we go, we're at the 92 mark. and the monitor is still telling you that the firmware is being updated. And the unit itself will sometimes reset. I still recommend that I like to be in control, so I like to unplug and plug the power back on. you do that you go to your monitor you want to check according to the software it's been done uh, there's a couple ways you can check you can check through the software itself which is clicking here and it's going to tell you this is the version it's got 
but I also would like to go to the monitor and I'll show you how to check the version once again to make sure that you've successfully uploaded the new 7.4 firmware. So to verify that you've updated, you're going to go to menus, once again, setting view, whip down to you see firmware view, and there you go. 1, 7.4, so it has been updated. So if you have any questions, contact support at editraffic.com or go ahead and give me a call at 602-396-1284.